Hello everyone and welcome back to another Marvel Snap episode. Today we're looking at the Black Order developer update of February 2024. I'm going to share my thoughts on this subject and I'm looking forward to see what cards are coming up in this month. I believe it's tomorrow the cards start to release the new season pass. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight onto this topic. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to do any videos this weekend, but today, as it is a Monday for me here and wherever else you are in the world, I'm not too sure. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's have some fun watching my thoughts on the new Marvel Snap Black Order update. Let's do this. Okay, straight into it. Marvel Snap the Black Order. Nice. It's oh my god. Broad from second dinner. <laughs> I'm so pleased you could all make it out to a monthly ritual. A new season of Marvel Snap. I know we like to keep secrets around here. But this next season features some of the most ruthless and deadly bad guys in the entire Marvel multiverse. The Black Order. These aliens. Now, these ones I'm really looking forward to. Especially Black Swan, Supergiant, Ebony Maul variant, and Cull Obsidian with Proxima Midnight. Looking forward to see if their abilities have changed with also Corvus Glaive. Let's keep it going. In Let's see what's happened. Recruited personally Whoops. By the Mad Titan Thanos. Behold. Black Swan. Here she is. Soul survivor from Earth 1365. Her powers rival Captain Marvel. Okay, so it says here on reveal until the end of next turn, your one cost cards cost zero. So that still takes effect. That's still pretty handy in a zoo deck. So I'm looking forward to see how this card turns out. I'm definitely going to be using her in a Kazar type of style deck. Cannot wait for this card. Love it. Black Swan is Thanos' best bet to claim all six Infinity Stones. So in Marvel Snap, when you play Black Swan, all your one-cost cards are free. Oh my. Good. In a Thanos Infinity Stone deck. That is insane. Lockjaw's going to go nuts with this. Zero Infinity Stones? Oh boy. Whew. Let the fun commence. Did you hear that? Free stones for your Thanos deck. Oh, stop it! Revealing our sacred stones won't summon the Mad Titan. That's just an urban legend. <laughs> this season, there are new Black Order cards releasing every single week. Starting with Super Giant. She's a devious psychic who can mentally possess multiple... So on reveal, all cards played next turn don't reveal until the game ends. So that's going to be a very interesting card indeed, especially in either discard or any other type of card genre. It could really play out their combos if they're playing the likes of even Destroy, playing with like Deadpool Destroy. Looking forward to see how she turns out. Targets the server master's will. And in Marvel Snap, she wields that power to prevent all cards played next turn from revealing until the game ends. Super Giant is a disruptive card that works well with Zabu and is a great tech option against Leech, Professor X, and Annihilus. Oh, now that is actually very interesting with Professor X lockdown decks, Annihilus, and even Leech. Man, didn't even think of Leech. That's a bloody good one. Wow, looking forward to that. Call Obsidian. As the strongest and largest member of the Black Order, he carries a big hammer and boasts unbreakable skin. So in Marvel Snap... 
You can only play this where you have a one cost card. This definitely looks well in a Zoo deck or an Infinity Stone deck, the likes of Thanos. So I'm definitely keen to see how this one turns out. Even with Zabu on 2 3, slam them down, or you can do them a bit later on at your choosing. I'd love to see what type of decks we can cook up with this guy. You can only play him in the location with a one cost card. Call Obsidian packs a punch in decks with a lot of one cost cards. The ruthless general of Thanos is a Discard two cards from your hand to get plus one max energy. I am definitely looking forward to see how this one turns out in either a Thanos or a discard deck. Corvus Glaive. Looks pretty cool. Armies. He willingly sacrifices his own soldiers to please his master. So when you play Corvus Glaive, he discards two cards in exchange for plus one max energy. And finally, Proxima Midnight. The daughter of Thanos is perhaps the- When this is discarded, jumps to your lowest power location that isn't full. Proxima Midnight looks very fun, especially in another discard deck where it just jumps onto the field. There's a very decent stat line too, a 4-7. Reminds me of a uh, black cat in a way, two power off, but just jumps to the location that helps you out. Or maybe not, depending on the location that it is. So let's see what type of decks they got strategized for this one. The best pure fighter in his army and is never easily defeated. So when Proxima Midnight is discarded from your hand, she escapes to your lowest power location. Oh, okay. Oh, and she obviously works really well in a deck with her evil husband, Corvus Glaive. Relationship goals, y'all. Everyone, the following locations will make your matches extra sinister this Black Order season. Black Vortex and... Okay, so we've got the likes of two locations here. I'll just move the camera out of the way just for this one, just for a little bit. One moment. Okay. Add a random Infinity Stone to your hand. Black Vortex. Okay, they're going straight into the <laughs> Thanos deck. That is interesting. A random Infinity Stone. And Sanctuary 2. The first card you play here becomes a random six cost card. Oh my goodness, that is insane. Sanctuary 2 and Black Vortex. Cannot wait to see what happens with the RNG environments. Let's bring it in. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, chill out, everyone. Just because we're assembling the sacred stones doesn't mean he'll fly here and torture us and seize them with deadly force. But who wouldn't want to grab these season pass variants for death, Ebony Mar, and Black Swan? Oh, man, they look really cool. Definitely want to get those ones in the season pass. Which one's your favourite variant? The Black Swan, the Ebony Maw, or the Death? I'm going to say for sure the Black Swan looks really nice. Before we get blasted, check this out. There are four new albums dropping. Oh, look at this one. So we've got four new albums coming in, which are the Art Gerb, Pixel, Low Cost, High Impact, and the Destroy It All Pixels. I don't use these very much, and it doesn't make a huge concern for me, but if this is something you like of the game, then that's good. Good on you. But it doesn't faze me too much. So if you're excited about this, this is the stuff you'll definitely enjoy. Each week with these awesome new rewards. And don't miss an epic art germ shop takeover later. Ooh, look at this. We've got Killmonger, Magic Art Germ, Dazzler Art Germ, Psylocke Art Germ, and the Human Torch Art Germ. Wow, they look fantastic. Oh, Wait, I had more to tell everyone. Thanks for playing and supporting Marvel Snap. The Black Order season is going to be a blast. See you next time. Oh, what a world, what a world. <laughs> nice. Well, there you have it. That was the Black Order developer update. My final thoughts on that. 
I'm definitely looking forward to the cards coming out this month. Especially the likes of Black Swan herself. I'm definitely looking forward to this one in the season pass with the Thanos deck and the other zoo cards with Kazar. So this looks like a really fun month. I'm going to try and save my tokens and the cache keys to see how we go from there. Until then, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this season pass developer update of February 2024. And I'll see you in my next Marvel Snap video. It may be out today or possibly tomorrow, depending on what I'm up to. But this for sure, I wanted to get out on release to show you guys what my thoughts were on this update. Until next time, guys, you have a good one. Peace.